Hey guys, welcome to RPA Feed. In this session, we will be looking at XML package in A360. So what is XML? XML is extensible markup language that is designed to store data and transfer data. So in XML, data is stored in the format of tags. We have opening tag and closing tag. We will see that in a bit, right? So using this XML package, we can read XML document. XML document is a structured document that has a node and it's a tree kind of layout or tree structured document wherein each node is a tag and we, the document can have multiple nodes. So for example, let me go to the XML file that I have created here for this example. Let me open it with notepad. So as you can see, I have created students XML, which has data related to student. So this is our opening tag and this is our closing tag of this XML document. So under the students tag, we have different, different section or rather we can say different nodes. Each node, each student node is considered like is having information with respect to that particular student. So this is ID of the student. This is name, class, age and gender. Similarly, we have another student data respectively. So this is how a XML document look like. Okay, I'll copy this data. I'll show you in a while why I'm copying this. Now going back to our bot editor. If you see over here in our XML package in A360, currently we have 10 actions. So in order to read an XML document, you have to use this start session. And uh, then after the end, uh, once you are done with reading your XML document, you need to use end session. So let's drag them and the session name, I'm keeping it as default. So along with that, I'm also passing or adding this end session command or end session action as well. So this is giving us some error. You can see in this assistant as well, right? There's one issue, one error at the line number one. What is this error? Because here we haven't specified the data source, the XML data source. So there are two options. Either you can upload the file, that file which we have seen just now, notepad file. We can directly upload this file here as a data source, or we can paste the XML over here in the format of text. So let's go with this option for now, because file is pretty straightforward. The file which I have created, you can directly upload it and you can utilize it. And this is also straightforward. You can, as our XML is simple right now for this example. So let's consider going with the text option. So now what? Now we have the XML data. Now in our bot, we want to read the information, how we can do that. So we have something called node, get single node or get multiple nodes. If you want to get multiple nodes data, you can use this multiple node uh, action. Let's go with get single node. And suppose I want to get the information of uh, this node. For example, student ID. Okay. So how I can do that. So as you can see in our XML, we have multiple data with same node. So under student, then student, students, student, and then ID will fetch you this data as well as this other data as well, right? Because our XML structure, uh, our XML is structured in the multi-level node format. So how we can retrieve this information? So let's go with this option. And here we need to specify the X path. What is X path expression over here? So if you want to traverse a node, so from students, then I want to fetch this ID value, let's suppose. So it would be like students backslash or forward slash student and then ID followed by ID. So that's how we will, uh, we will use this uh, get single node. I'm just showing you this, ex uh, uh, this example here. We have to use get multiple nodes because we have the multiple data uh, with the same nodes. So, but for demonstrated demonstration, let's uh, go with this student, students, student and ID. So this is my X path expression. Okay. And attribute is optional at the moment. So we, we can specify attribute, but uh, currently we do not have any attribute. So for uh, what does attribute means if we had something called like this ID or some any any attribute given to this particular node, then that also we could have specified. But as of now, we do not have such attribute. So let's keep it blank. So this ID information I want to store in one variable and uh, that has to be, um, let's say I'll create a variable called ID. And in this we will store it. Let me pull up the message box. And here I'll print ID. 
and let's let me run this now so we got this value as 1 because why because here it found this value and it printed out it didn't go uh, it didn't navigate it to the other uh, object or other values the path was same but still it didn't because it found found the node here itself and it uh, it printed the value what if if we want to get the multiple nodes so let's go back to our xml package click on this get multiple nodes let's disable this for now and in multiple nodes we can specify uh, our customers or uh, students students backslash student then id so here we are getting the radio buttons get each node what we want to get text value or xpath expression or any specific attribute we want text value so now let me so we have got this information uh, we will get the all the information for ids so for example here we are having this one two three and four all this information we will be getting so now uh, rather than getting an id let's get name so we'll have a different uh, variation of this example so let me write it like this so now in the session name default we will have information of all the students in order to print that we, we need a loop because there are more than one value right so let's go with loop so in loop in for loop uh, we need to specify xml for loop so for each node in xml dataset and the session name is default assign the current row to this particular variable so let's create one more variable uh, let's name it xml node itself create and now in xml node we will be getting the value so let me go here and paste the message box inside the loop stating xml node okay so now let me disable this because we do not have that value in the in the id variable now let's disable this message box and uh, this message box should display us all the uh, values for those students let me run this so we should see all the four student name so first one is Karthik then we have Preeti then Sid and then Sonia so you can see in this Karthik, Preeti, Sid and Sonia so this is fine and that's uh, the execution bot execution is done in a proper way I'll delete this statements so let me go back to the XML package and let's look at the other action items so we have a delete node so if you drag this command delete node deletes your existing node from the XML so in this XML if you want to delete one particular node let's say gender or age so you can pass on the xpath for that particular node and it will delete it again this acts on a single node so if you pass on students uh, if you pass on the path like this student and student and age so the first value it, it's going to find for the first student then it will delete it will delete this particular node and it will skip the rest of the nodes here we have execute xpath function this action executes a xpath function and stores the value in a variable we have already seen this get multiple nodes get single nodes then insert node similar to delete node this insert node what it will do it will insert a additional node which you are specifying for example now here I want to insert address so I can do that here I will specify the xpath expression for example uh, I'll pick this up from here and specify over here so this is my root node so double slash student students and then at this level I want address if I if I were to oh sorry at this level I want um, another new node so here I will enter address if I if I wanted it to be under this for example I wanted this under one of these nodes so I would have specified it like under age if I want then, then I would have specified here age itself so we want it to the same level as of student then the node name uh, we can give it here and we can give the expression as like this uh, and we can also specify the address value as well so let's say Hyderabad okay if node name is present then insert it anyways if it is already present then also insert it but we, we, we are sure this is not there so there's some condition you can play around it what you want to do override or insert or skip right you can do that right insert node location beginning of the child element where you want here so we want it at the end 
so we want it at the end of the specific node for example after gender so after gender we want it let me specify the name and that's all we can save this so once the node is uh, once the statement or once this action is executed it will just insert it into the current xml so let me delete this and here uh, we will run this bot and in order to see it if it is getting inserted or not then after that what we have is a save session data we have save session data which we need to call because we are here modifying we are inserting some data so this default xml will needs to be uh, saved at some variable so that we can view it at the later stage so currently let me uh, assign one more variable so str xml data that's the string variable I'm creating and I'm holding that information over here. You can also write that XML data to a particular file as well. But let me assign it to here. And then I'll give a message box which will be str XML data. So now let's run it, run this. So now what, sh what it should do, first it will again print the name of the students. And we already know that so let me go ahead and there is some error uh, default session not found because we have I think already closed it we have already did an end session and that I need to drag it over here now let me run this again but this time I will disable this loop because we don't want uh, we don't want this right so let me run it so as you already know our XML is something like this now but we will get one more field called address added uh, there is some issue x path expression must evaluate to node set Let, let's check that students and student so this is how uh, uh, there was a typo here let me run this again and this time it should work so here is our modified xml you can see here we have got the address field and the value is Hyderabad right that's because why it got added in the last section that's because we we have specified uh, uh, that after after specific child node so it travels the entire XML and at the end uh, at the end when it found gender at the last right then after that it entered it over here so this is done now so in this way we have covered a uh, delete node insert node and similarly we have update node if you want to update any specific information uh, of uh, existing node then we can do that so suppose you want to modify the age or modify the name uh, there's spelling mistake or something like that if you want to modify or update it we can do it using update node so that's where we uh, go with update node then validate xml document that's the uh, last action which is left arrest everything we have covered already so in validate xml document the tags and the document structure are are uh, are validated basically this is useful once uh, when you want to specify the valid uh, the the xml document that you are passing the xml input that you are passing is a valid xml or not so it's this action is handy when you are working on your xml and you want to make sure the data which is coming is a valid xml document or not if it is not then it will throw error and it will be not a good document to operate upon so that's where uh, this action comes handy uh, what you can do in this you can uh, specify the uh, validation type on which you want to do the validation if it is a uh, xml schema or internal dtd or well form there are three types of uh, uh, validations you can select either of them and assign uh, your this value valid or invalid value depending on the um, validation uh, it will assign in either invalid or valid and basis on this status value you can perform your rest of the action for example if the document is not valid it will return this uh, invalid in uh, the variable suppose i'm creating here a status variable so status variable will contain invalid and then you can have a if condition uh, below uh, if uh, this status variable is not invalid then only you take further action else you skip this section so this is how validate xml document is used so guys that's all about xml package in a360 and uh, hope you understood all uh, all the actions if you have any queries feel free to comment below this video so in case you have liked our content please share and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching